And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Trundle. That's right, we're going to be playing Heimerdinger and Trundle together. So, you know, kind of like Heimer Vi, but we are going to be heading on over to the Freljord and playing the King of the Trolls, Trundle, with the Ice Pillar and everything. And of course, um, also what Freljord gives you is some good Frostbite spells. We have Harsh Winds in here, we got Flash Freeze. Um, Troll Chant is a really good way to kind of protect Heimerdinger. Um, and then also some good Freljord defensive units, Averroes and Sentry, Averroes and Trapper. Very good at defensive units out there. So that's that's what uh, Freljord is going to bring us. Plus, we get a couple of different KDA cards at the top end. We got one, Feel the Rush. Since we're Freljord, we can use this as basically a fourth Heimerdinger be able to spend 12 mana, go put Heimerdinger into play, and have a 10-10 Heimerdinger. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's always a pretty silly. So we have a 10-10 Heimerdinger with Heal the Rush, and then of course we have Give It All in here, because Heimerdinger's turrets all have a different keyword, right? So they all have like unique keywords, and so if we can get a bunch of turrets out there, then we can play Give It All, and then we give them all, you know, each one gets all of the keywords um, so that could be pretty cool. Alright, so that, that's going to be our deck, Heimer Trundle. Let's go play our five games in Ranked. Let's see how we, how we do with this one. This is a fun uh, donation deck here. Alright, so it looks like we're playing against some ramp to start with. I don't know, maybe we just keep a, a Kindly Tavern Keeper to play on turn three. Nah. Card probably doesn't really matter. Playing a 3-3, you know, it's not going to be the, the difference in the game or not. or not. So we'll just mulligan it. Yeah, maybe we'll find more Flash Brilliance. That could be a card that matters. Uh, wouldn't mind, like, a Troll Chant. Something that helps protect Heimerdinger. Okay, okay Avril's in Trapper. I like that more than the, the Tavern Keeper. Butcher. We got our enraged yeti right away. Stories were true. I'm through waiting. I'll do this before they play a trundle to block with. Tread carefully. They walked around. And so I could play Heimer and then Flash of Brilliance, but. I think I'm just going to play Trundle instead. Maybe they use like their removal and stuff, worrying about Trundle, and then it allows our Heimerdinger to be uh, in play for longer. Maybe. We should be drawing another Enraged Yeti real soon. So if I do play Heimer, they could have Ruination. I don't know, maybe a pass. Smashing. Over there. I'm not sure if I want to just like, you know, spread the board with two champions when they don't have any. Nothing escapes my watch. <clears throat> okay, well that's not the best result. Cool. I like that troll champion all to help protect Timer Dinger. Slaughter. 
Hey, Aurora Porealis. I do not have the room for those cards at all. Yes, yes, again! Not in the slightest. Now to put five cards in my hand, you know, like the six one. So feel the rush. The best you got. Definitely something they can play. I want some more frostbite. No, because like I feel like if I I go pillar, they go feel the rush. I don't, know, I don't I don't love like my attack. Scariest of these cards. Do I? I guess I kill Trundle. Blast! I should level up Heimerdinger. It works. Can do yeah, I could have played a Mystic Shot first, but eh, let's hold on to Mystic Shot. Probably gonna have to warms, even the coldest heart. harsh winds. Attack! Cool. That was not. Uh, I mean, I guess. Yeah. They didn't uh, maximize the ancient yet. You know, they didn't play too much against harsh winds. My most groundbreaking invention to date. Because, <laughs> of course, you know, we always have to worry about atrocity. I can mystic shot that and keep them from gaining. To, but I guess it makes more sense to troll chant. Yeah, I guess we troll chant that. I assume they're going to be able to deal one damage, so I'm not sure how much that troll chant's going to really help. We shall see. I was thinking about attacking with the Heimerdinger. Alright, maybe I don't. Yeah, don't Withering Will messes me up. You don't stand a chance. Alright, no Withering Will. They are at three against the PNZ deck. Can you play another Field of Rush? Awesome. We'll take it. Alright, 1-0. They can even have 10-10s. Ten Not big enough. This should be another, so, yeah, Taric, Darius, that should be, a, you know, an overwhelmed deck going really big. Another deck where the Frostbite 
is very important. Um, let's mulligan the KDA cards. And we'll keep Heimer and Frostbite. Good opening hand for us. Love the sentry, and then these trappers gonna play some defense. Yeah, the deck looked, our deck looked really good that first game, and I have my it's orders. a good hand for They're this game there. too. I'll spot them. Everything's in place. Look out for reavers. Alert the villains. Yeah, beating Field of the Rush whenever they, you know, they do get to, you know, they cast their Field of the Rush and we still uh, take them down. Gotcha. Oh, they're an out of the way deck. All right, we're gonna be playing some out of the way next game. We're gonna be trying that out, trying a um, viewer submitted out of the way deck. Hey, M Thor. Sweet and Ray Jetty. Ours is the one true light. The stories were true. Were true. Joke debate. Question is, how much do I agree with the Mobiletics tier list? Very, very little. I don't really like that tier list. What seems to be the problem? I think that Heimerdinger is safe. Like, obviously, if I wait a turn, I can have like the troll chant to protect. But I, you know, just thinking like this is an out of the way tech. Targon, Noxus, I don't think they're going to kill it. Like, the, the one removal spell that I could see them having would likely be Culling Strike, and I don't really protect from Culling Strike either way. Yeah, I guess I should have just open attack. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't know why I was so focused on playing Heimerdinger. I probably should have just open attack. I don't know, I'm just so defensive-minded that I wasn't really planning on... I don't know, I just wasn't really even thinking about attacking. Yeah, I should have no opened attack. Politics. They walked around. Dimensions don't determine themselves. Meh. Not that scared of that slurry soldier. At least not yet. Don't worry. I am here. All right, that card's scary. Shatter them. Punish transgressions. Never submit. Over there. So Tarek is tough. It's not going to die to the Enraged Yeti, but I'm still going to block it. Maybe make it easier for the Thermogenic Beam to kill it. So our top card should be another Enraged Yeti, right? Because we played two of the Everoken Trappers. It's smaller than a diagram. All unbelievers will see the light. We're gonna get the five-one quick attack, right? Yeah, quick attack. For beauty. All right. See, out of the way, you just have to take that turn off. And you, as we saw, as my opponent was taking that turn off or out of the way, I was able to just to play Avros and Trappers and Enraged Yetis and everything. And it's just so difficult to catch up whenever you take an entire, you know, five mana, take that, take that off. It's just too difficult. What about the? Okay, I didn't really see. Yeah, so the official. Oh yeah, so in the in the patch notes, the official win rate that Riot posted. Does it sound accurate? Yeah, I would think so. Like, what? What is there? I don't. I don't think that they would lie about that. Like, I don't. Because if they did lie about it, and it like, there's just not enough upside to lie about something like that. Because if they did lie about it and it got out, then 
like that would you know kind of destroy the their integrity and everything like there's there's no it's just not worth the upside to to possibly lie about anything like that what are we doing okay yeah we're definitely keeping Conley tavern keeper playing against burn or Draven. oh it's draven as zero but yeah let's keep that maybe we should keep the progress day Killing Ezreal is just too important. <clears throat> Guess I'm gonna have to spend six no mana on a thermogenic beam. I don't want to like play Kylie Tavern Keeper first. I'm not playing Heimer next turn. But that's a, that's okay. So I could just go back to my turn and, and you know, then we have like the same amount of mana. I think we do that. I think we just get caught up on mana. King of Trolls coming through. Yeah, they probably have just a ton of removal, right? Like Draven Ezreal decks do have a lot of removal. They're probably sitting on a bunch of that. Probably thermogenic beam. I wouldn't be surprised about that. Um, yeah, a good deck that runs Ionia and Targon. Let's see, a good deck that runs Ionia Targon. All right, good rummage. These are I'd be kind of surprised if they do not have thermogenic beam. Oh, I guess so. They, yeah, the thermogenic beam last turn. Never mind. Mighty Poro. You know they don't have Mystic Shot, because if they had Mystic Shot, I think they would have attacked with a 3-3 and threatened. Yeah, so we definitely know they don't have Thermogenic Beam. We can fairly assume they don't have Mystic Shot. This is gonna be fun. Can handle a little cold. I think I'm probably gonna play Heimerdinger this turn. Oh, they do have Mystic Shot. Alright, well, I should have played Kindly Tavern Keeper. Well, I could. Alright, we got a lot of Heimerdinger errors. You kill one, another will show up. The party has arrived. Got five extra mana. You can see just playing Progress Day this turn. Instead of playing Harbordinger. Axes coming right up. Seventeen. Seventeen's fine. Warm hops and hot soup. 
I don't know if they're gonna have four damage to that trundle. We're gonna kind of protect it here a little bit just in case. The backup. Ah, the head. Uh, ravenous flock. Let's see. Unforeseen outcome. Okay. Well, we got one last Heimerdinger. I should have just cast the gotcha on that Draven. So I'll be able to take out the Ice Pillars. Which I think I'm okay with. Take out one Ice Pillar. So I, I do have one Heimerdinger and one. Uh, just, just one Heimerdinger, one Trundle left for this field of rush. So I'll put them both in as ten tens. I hope they don't have, you know, like another guillotine or something like that. What seems to be the problem? Sounds dangerous. I'm in. So we use the troll chant to keep them from creating a new uh, mystic shot for free. Um, but I guess I probably want the Kindly Tavern Keeper to die. No. Alright, they do have Spinning Axe they could use on Ezreal anyway. Too. Why am I sacrificing the pillar? Because I, I want more space for, you know, with getting Heimerdinger turrets anyway. Time for the money makers. So that'll put me down to 11. 
which I think should be plenty to kill them. How do they stop if I could just go Mystic Shot right now them? How do they stop it? I don't think they can. I don't think they can. No. All right, so we are three and O oh with Heimer Trundle. Dex looking good. Being some good decks too. And Draven Ezreal's a real good deck. Did I break something? All right, Twisted Fizz. <clears throat> Frostbite cards are gonna be pretty important in this matchup. So I just don't know if Sentry's actually gonna really be able to do much blocking, I guess. I guess it's worth keeping, but. I'm not sure. See the Devastian border from here. Because they could have like Starlight Seer. Yes, like Starlight Seer is like their best card to have. And so at least the Sentry keeps the Starlight Seer from being in combat. Just, uh, just pretend I'm the way, right? <sighs> Elixir of Iron. Season. Oh, that's pretty great. Listen and learn. Hope I didn't need that. In Avarosa's name. That's gonna be a that elixir of iron is gonna be uh, really important for them. Because, yeah, of course, they're, they're just trying to win with elusives. That's why the Avros and Sentry doesn't do a ton. But at least it checks the Starless here, I suppose. King of Trolls, coming through. Okay, does Lounging Lizard die, or do they have a way to save it? Okay, no, so that that's gonna die. We will. War Mother's call. I'll knock them dead for the homestead. We'll challenge this one. So I guess I'm playing progress day this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So I guess that'll give us ten cards. Hmm. It's an awkward turn. Maybe I just don't play anything. That's that's my tail. And we get Ice Pillar next turn. And then our Trundle's gonna grow. Deal me in. Blue card. Blue as the Serpentine. I guess I could give it all. After, you know, Ice Pillar, make this big overwhelm, then cast Give It All. So they'll just be, so they'll be 5-6 overwhelms, the other ones. And then Trundle will grow, but the other two won't. 
They usually play some Frostbite cards themselves, though, so, like, they may, like, if they Frostbite my Trundle in response, that's annoying, but I don't, I really just don't have anything better to do. I mean, it's better than Progress Day. Okay, cool. This Give It All could steal this. <laughs> we get Trundle Pillar. They can just take it and go to one. Blocking doesn't really make any sense. I mean, I guess the only thing, like, they gotta be scared of Mystic Shot, I guess. Why are you here? Yes, maybe they're scared of Mystic Shot. Charmed, I'm sure. No, vulnerable is not shared. It doesn't share negative keywords. Doesn't share ephemeral, vulnerable, that kind of stuff. So I, I definitely see like so Victor should be the same way. This fates at three. Where it has like Victor gets a random keyword each turn whenever you play like that card that gives it a random keyword, it won't give it negative keywords. Warm Mother's Call, Feel the Rush. Obviously, we need to do some Frostbiting. I'm not, not playing Feel the Rush or Warm Mother's Call. Yeah, that's true. Patch Portal Bot works the same way, right? Like, yeah, that, that doesn't get. Patch Portal Bot doesn't get negative keywords. Frostbite cards have been coming up clutch. So I could cast Field the Rush now. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do that or if I'm supposed to just open attack. I guess I do that. Because, like, they... There's definitely a chance that they play... Um, harsh winds, and like an open attack, not doesn't kill him. Okay, GGs. You should be honored. All right, we're gonna go try to face Tom Kent Soraka to finish it out. I could see this being a difficult matchup. We don't have interaction for Star Spring. Um, and even a car like Trundle is really hard to kill. Or sorry, sorry, uh, Tom Kench. A car like Tom Kench is really hard to kill. Yeah, just kind of thinking about it, this may be... This may be a, one of our most difficult matchups, just kind of think, you know, just... In theory, like these frostbite cards don't really matter. This could be difficult. So yeah, we're gonna need to make some some big overwhelms pretty quickly. Harmony, you're going wide, and then. Uh, and then a, a give it all with a whole bunch of turrets. That could be cool. Okay, there's the give it all. I can't play Heimer until after combat. Well, I mean, I guess I could. I got flash freeze. No, not Tom. Not Tom Cash. Yeah, because if I pass, they could just pass. Uh, now Tom Cash is just gonna eat Heimerdinger. 
What seems to be the problem? No, I mean I don't think they'll have like Starship. Yeah, like yeah, they they probably won't have any problem with fearsome. Should have stayed home, pal. Oh, it's on me. Oh, I am so sorry, opponent. I didn't realize it was on me. Oh, yeah. I mean, Hush, hush will wreck us, but I mean, come on. They have all this, like... <laughs> we have to try to win. You know, like, yes, there's a lot of cards that can kill us, but we gotta try to win. I am telling them that they don't have to play Acquire Taste immediately. They can play Acquire Taste after combat. Whoa. Come on in. Wow. How about another round? Yeah, not too surprised about that. Okay, blocking the other fearsome. I will put Tom at just one health. Please don't hurt them. Well, I'm I'm glad we got them to use a hush right there, right? That was a good time for them to use a hush for me. By the power. Of the stars. Oh, I don't require a menu. Stars fall. That was a really, that was a pretty great Soraka. But still, I'm gonna be trying to win with Give It All next turn. I'm hoping, hoping they don't have any more hush. Oh no. Uh, no. Take heart. Live with purpose. Huh. At ten. A sturdy construction. Because I want to play Trundle, and then next turn play Ice Pillar, give it all. But of course that's Wait, what? Okay, so they're they're capturing the Soraka. Cause then that will level up Tom Kench. Once then then they play Acquire Taste and level up Tom Kench, and then they put the Soraka back out. That's fine with me. <laughs> get one health? Yeah, like that's fine. So they get they get a brand new Soraka. But oh well. No respect for Heimerdinger. Chance to walk away. Come along. There's room for everyone. This world is so great. But I guess if they, if I go Ice Pillar and then they just go eat my floor be gone, I guess I won't have a good give at all. I guess I can then battle Fury. <clears throat> they try that. With purpose. A deer promise a safe return. I'm sure there's something for my taste. Could also just give it all right away with the with those things. Take heart. Live with purpose. So the main question is, do they have Hush? They, yeah, they're like they're about to win with the Star Spring. I think I go for it. Hush, they win. No Hush, they lose. They've played one Hush so far. 
So there's only... They've already played one. So they can have at maximum two more in the deck if they're playing all three. Nope. No! Of course they had it, the very first card. Alright, so there's six sixes with tough. Also get an 8 8. Oh, yeah, 9 9. They said it couldn't be done. You are better than me. So please don't have another unit here. Just go to your, go to your turn. No, they had another unit. Because they, they had to have a unit to be able to support so they could support right away. Because if they don't have that unit. Yep. So now the Star Spring just kills me with the Soraka. Just, yeah, they just heal and now, now Star Spring kills me. That's too bad. Yeah, that was close. That was that was fun. That was a good game. So close to the 5-0. It's definitely a weird game. I I could have just simply just challenged the Tom Kench and then just not even it, you know, not even tried to kill the Soraka and stuff, but I I think they were going to be able to heal enough. I guess I I think I could have mystic shot this, you know, whenever I played the Trundle, I could have mystic shot it and killed the Soraka earlier. I think I needed to do that. I guess I did. Or whenever they challenge, like, the next turn. I need to prioritize killing the Soraka. Sure. Yeah, it was pretty likely they had a heal card if I would have tried killing the Soraka earlier. Like, it, it was pretty likely they had a heal card. And, you know, anything to make it not work out. I went for the hope, hope they didn't have the second hush plan instead. Stars. What if I just didn't attack with all the other stuff? No, yeah, yeah, I think I just had to heal card with those last couple. To heal and protect. Which, yep, they would have had the Soraka, so. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, great hand, GG's. That Star Spring card, when you play Star Spring on turn two, it's you know it's a real thing. You know, they had you know, one drop into Star Spring, into Boxtopus, into Tom Kench, <clears throat> into Soraka. That's all the stuff you want, and then they had the double hush. But this was a really fun deck to play. I was I was really impressed with it. Um, very impressed with the Frostbite cards and, and all the matchups, except for, of course, that one. The Frostbite cards don't matter. Um, yeah, like, the, the Give It All was, was cool. Like, that was a, a fun card to play. The Field of Rush was real powerful. Putting in Trundle and Heimerdinger. <clears throat> Both of our, our champions felt really good. I loved having Avros and Sentry and Avros and Trapper in the early game. The, they were awesome early game cards for us. Um, yeah, our deck, our deck felt really good. And, uh, you know, sure, we, we don't have an answer to Star Spring. That's, that's one card that we just don't have any kind of answer to. And, uh, you know, they had it and, uh, you know, had all the other stuff they needed. But I was even, so I, I was thinking that just kind of going into that matchup, I thought that was going to be a really tough matchup. But it didn't play as bad as I was expecting it to be. Uh, maybe that is because we had the one, you know, our one of give it all and, and things like that. But it it felt like a, it felt a lot closer than I expected it to be going forward. But all right, so there we go. So that's Heimer Trundle, pretty awesome deck here. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching some Heimer Trundle, and I'll see you for the next video.